All right, this is my new niche. I'm just going to tell jokes. I just it amuses me. Uh, I was doing a temp job. Uh, I know how to type 60 words a minute. I learned job core. I only did that because I could flirt with pretty women in the class. Anyway, I mean, I did a temp job, like data entry or whatever. And then I got cool everybody there. And the lady said she had a three-year-old son. And he was wearing uh, her heels one time. And she goes, she asked me, like, Stu, do you think that's a problem? Yeah, I said, no, that's not a problem. Three, but 18? Yeah, you might have something to think about, you know. And everybody just laughed. And uh, I'm thinking about times I made people laugh. <clears throat> now, recently, we just saw a Bruce Lee movie in my Kung Fu class. And, uh, and during the scene, uh, Bruce Lee walked away from the girl he's supposed to marry. And just, he was thinking about something. And just out of nowhere, I said, oh, Bruce, is it me? It's the hairstyle? I could change it. I, I love you. I don't want you to leave. And everybody just cracked up from the kids to the people my age to people younger. Anyway, uh, as an ambulance driver, uh, I went to uh, a nurse home one time. And uh, one of the nurses said something to me. Uh, oh, it's so disgusting. I just saw two senior citizens having sex. I looked at him like, what's disgusting about that? They get ready to die. But it made me think about it one time. I went to another nurse home with a person, uh, EMT. And uh, the fellow EMT, and uh, he said, Stu, I think she like you. And I thought I was just being friendly. And this lady looked like she's about 80 something years old, her breast down to her navel. I mean, and I was like, oh my God, dude, she'll be lady's dust would come out. Yo, that's disgusting. But uh, I don't know, I'm known for flirting with uh, women generation after me, but I'm still in great shape. I think I'm still attractive, and I definitely don't need no uh, Viagra. And uh, this thing made me laugh. Uh, I mean, Carol was real big. Right? Like she was around my age group, and uh, she's a big movie star. She's Spanish. Um, when I was like in high school, and I had like my first wet dream about her in boarding school, and I thought I was just lying there dreaming, and I started match kissing her, and and uh, well, one thing led to another, and then white fluid came out of my penis, and my dad had to talk with my dad. I was like 15, and I really thought something was wrong with me. I thought I was gonna die, and uh, I remember I walk around for a week, just like my head down, just I was so depressed. And then I told, I finally opened up to a friend, and he said, he just laughed and laughed and stood, man. You just be naive. You just don't understand. Anyway, these are things that make me laugh. And then, oh, yeah, Harvey, my best friend, that's the TV star that died. One time, he was at the University of Penn campus, and this like some guy in the front, and he, was, he looked all racist and uptight. And Harvey, he had so much charisma. He just convinced him he knew somebody. He knew a lot of people. He's in the business. And he was like, uh, he'd be on TV. He was in foster care on national TV and, and movies and stuff. That's surreal. And, um, but anyway, he uh, went to the University of Penn. I was with him, hanging out. I was his sidekick. And, uh, and the guy, he finally convinced the guy out to let him in because he knew some people in the theater or whatever. So he went in, and all these, like, white college girls and, uh, like, the ballet or whatever, just dancing with the poles. Harvey went in there in front of the mirror, and he started dancing like he was on Soul Train. It was just hilarious, dude. He was such a unique person. Then another time, it's a movie called, what's it, Eating Gilbert Grape. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who I met, New Harvey, he played this character and he, uh, he was nominated for Academy Award called Arnie. He like mentally challenged. And I swear on my life, Harvey did that. Somehow we walked around the University of Penn campus, had some free banquet, and all these, uh, it's mostly all white people, and uh, they're all like, you know, you know, you know snooty. And, you know, Harvey went there like he was dizzy, like yeah, something like retarded. I mean, I know they got to be politically correct. I'm not trying to make fun of nobody. I'm not like that person. But anyway, he was challenged. I, I it Maybe it's better. Anyway, uh, uh, so he went there and uh, uh, and he just did it for like 10 minutes. And on the way out, he spilled on the guy's shoe. And I was like, no, don't do that. What's wrong with you? No, no, no bargaining for you. No, I was like, and the guy was mad. And he went out. And we walked like about half a block. He said, is he looking? And he stood up and started walking opposite, around the corner. I was like, oh, my God. What a unique person. It's an honor to tell this life story.